Here we are, stepping back in time to the era of the Old Testament, more specifically, the Book of Exodus. This ancient text, full of trials, tribulations, and divine intervention, sets the stage for a story of liberation, journey, and divine law. Picture, if you will, a multitude of Israelites freed from the shackles of Egyptian slavery embarking on a journey through the wilderness. Their leader, Moses, guided by divine providence, leads them towards a land of promise. Along the way, they encounter numerous challenges, but their faith keeps them moving forward. Amidst this journey, Moses ascends Mount Sinai where he receives the Ten Commandments, a cornerstone of their faith and a guide for their future conduct. This is the backdrop against which our story unfolds, a tale of faith, hope and divine intervention. Now let's delve into the dramatic turn of events in Exodus chapter 32. As Moses ascends Mount Sinai, the Israelites grow restless and doubtful. The story now unfolds, revealing the depths of human impatience and the consequences of losing faith. In the absence of Moses, their trusted leader, the Israelites find themselves grappling with fear and uncertainty. Their faith wavers, their resolve weakens, and in their desperation they turn to Aaron, Moses' brother. They press him, pleading for a tangible God they can worship, a physical entity they can see and touch. Aaron, perhaps swayed by their desperation, or perhaps himself succumbing to a moment of weakness, agrees. He collects their golden ornaments, melts them down, and from the molten gold, shapes a calf. In the shadow of this golden calf, the people rejoice, forgetting their covenant with the unseen God who had led them out of Egypt. But their joy is short-lived. For as they dance and revel around their new-found deity, Moses descends from the mountain. In his hands he carries the tablets of the covenant, the physical embodiment of their pact with God. When he sees the golden calf and the people worshipping it, his anger flares. He throws down the tablets in his wrath, shattering them at the foot of the mountain. The repercussions of the Israelites' impatience and lack of faith are swift and severe. Moses burns the golden calf, grinds it into powder, mixes it with water and makes the Israelites drink it. He then rallies those who have remained loyal to God and they go through the camp, sword in hand, punishing their fellow Israelites for their transgression. In a single day, 3,000 men fall, a heavy toll for a moment of doubt, a moment of faithlessness. The Israelites, once rejoicing in the presence of their golden calf, now mourn their dead, a stark reminder of the price they have paid for their impatience and lack of faith. And thus the Israelites paid a heavy price for their impatience and lack of faith. While the events of Exodus chapter 32 might seem distant and ancient, they carry valuable lessons for us today. The story of the golden calf is a poignant reminder of the pitfalls of impatience. When Moses delayed on Mount Sinai, the Israelites, in their haste, turned to a false idol. This teaches us the importance of patience and trust, especially in times of uncertainty. Moreover, this chapter highlights the dangers of idolatry, of placing anything on a pedestal above our moral principles. The Israelites' disobedience led to dire consequences, underscoring the importance of steadfastness in our beliefs and actions. But perhaps the most compelling lesson is that of faith. Even amidst chaos and disobedience, Moses intercedes on behalf of the Israelites, demonstrating unwavering faith. This act of faith serves as a powerful model for us, encouraging us to hold firm in our convictions, even in the face of adversity. Indeed, Exodus chapter 32 serves as a timeless reminder of the importance of faith and patience. So, there we have it, a journey through Exodus chapter 32, a tale of impatience, faithlessness and divine retribution we've delved into the story of the golden calf, a symbol of the Israelites' lapse in faith during Moses' absence and their desperate search for something tangible to worship. We've seen the repercussions of their actions, the swift and severe punishment delivered by God and the intercession of Moses on their behalf. This chapter serves as a stark reminder of the importance of unwavering faith and the dangers of impatience. In this story, we are taught valuable lessons about the nature of faith patience and the consequences of our actions. It highlights the fact that our actions, especially those taken in moments of desperation or impatience, can have far-reaching consequences. As we walk away from this story, may we carry with us the wisdom it offers. Until next time, keep exploring, keep learning, 